Hello, welcome back to Moffett Field. Turn seven, one more to go. Japanese turn seven, and uh, let's get rolling. Got quite a bit of attacks and trying to keep this all straight. Um, so I'll just go over quickly what's going to happen. It looks like the uh, Russians moved into the neutral zone here. So they'll probably be moving into China. So I'm going to withdraw back these troops back into China, prepare for that defense of China. Uh, down here in C zone, whatever this is off of India, 39. We're going to have a battle against the tanks that are sitting on Ceylon. Because I believe Hilltop did say that the tanks disembarked and landed on Ceylon. So we're not technically going to attack the fleet. We're just going to attack those two tanks there. Potentially move a uh, free move this um this uh, i'll zoom in the uh mech and i might rail those over to uh eastern iran i'm not sure these tanks might go to Szechuan, depending on how the battle goes down here in salon uh accompanying the battle so the battle in salon is going to be a fighter from india and these Fire and fighter bomber from the carriers that were sitting in Java. And then a bomber, most likely this bomber from Celebes with the air base and then in India. I don't really want to use it up. I kind of want to keep it in reserve. But I have to kill those two tanks. So, most likely, unless I make a last minute decision, that's going to go there. All right, so I have five carriers. I'll just move these now. These five carriers, a destroyer and a transport, are going to go to Palau. It's getting crowded over here. I'll fix this up later. So those are going to go, drop into Palau. I'm building a port in Palau. I hope that's how it's pronounced. Again, the carriers off the planes are going to do something a little different. I have one plane here in reserve. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, but these are going to fly to the Marianas and attack the American fleet in the Marianas. These three fighters from Japan are going to come down. And they will move one to the sea, two, three to Marianas, four to land on the carriers. There's five carriers, so ten planes can participate. That's the ten red dice there. From Manchuria, there's four planes coming down. So that's six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have one plane here. I could either leave one fighter in Manchuria or use this plane in C Zone 45 against the American cruiser, the Anzac cruiser, and the Anzac destroyer. I'll be bringing in two battleships and one cruiser. So I have this free fighter still to determine what to do with. This sub is going to go to the Philippines and sink, auto sink this transport. Oops, can't see. So uh, the sub goes one, two to the Philippines, auto sinks this Anzac transport because there's no scramble because it's a sub and the planes can't hit that. So that's, I'm just going to do that right now. That's an auto kill. Um, so we'll have a, a big roll here, and we'll have a roll on Calcutta, and we'll have a roll in Dutch New Guinea, off of Dutch New Guinea. So I'll move these planes over here to Ceylon. This plane will come down to India, so it's going to have that. And I'm going to throw this bomber in, so the bomber will go one, two, so the bomber will go, uh, sorry, one, two to Java, three to Sumatra, four to 39, so it should have two. Um, this fighter coming out of India will actually have four, because it has a base, so this guy will have four left. And these other fighters coming from Java, so we'll have one, two, They'll have two left. 
So they have two. Let me think about how I might want to land them someplace different. I didn't think about that till now, till I started moving. Um, I'll put the kills over here in the great Himalaya range. So we have one kill so far. Um, up here, this guy in Siberia is going to move back to Amor. I was going to move a guy out of Manchuria, but I don't think I need to. So that guy's going to move back to Amor. Um, I might, yeah, Amor. I have some free moves I'll go through. And my builds I'll go through right now. So I'll put this up on the screen too. I made a mistake in the last count. I didn't have 99, I had 97 because I forgot to take a rack off when the UK took that back. So 30, so three fighters for 30 in Japan. Two tanks and a destroyer in Shanghai. A destroyer in French Indochina. A tank and a mech in French Indochina, and then the naval base in Palau, wherever that is, Palau, naval base. So it should be 97. I always mess it up. You know, I put in a spreadsheet and I still mess it up, so I don't know. I'm sure I'll be corrected. All right, so let's get down to the rolling, and I'll figure out, do I leave this plane? I have two options with that plane, with that fighter. But uh, let me pause and think about that for a moment, and I'll come back and we'll roll. Okay, I think I got to figure it out. So uh, we'll start here. I'll roll these uh, British tanks first. Switch into the cup system. That seems to be a little easier, hopefully. So two tanks, 50-50. No hits. All right, that's not bad. I'll take that. That means I didn't need my bomber. But, so I have uh, the fighter tech upgrade. So I get three fours and two twos. Two twos from the bomber. Whoa. One hit. All right, so these are gone. Well, maybe I did need the bomber. Okay, so one hit. I'll take one just so I don't forget. Goes to the new to the discard pile. Take another black. All right, that's a miss. And I still get uh, three fighters. Got them. All right, so these two tanks on Salon are kaput. Sayonara. Oh, I didn't lose anything there which is good. So that kind of decapitated, hopefully, that landing party, wherever they were going, probably to Sumatra or elsewhere in the victory point zone of Burma, Shan, Siam, or French Indo, or Malaya. All right, so that's number one. Let's keep it rolling over here in uh, this attack. So I did not take the fighter here. So they get two cruisers and a destroyer. So it's two battleships and a cruiser. One hit from the destroyer. One hit from the destroyer. So I'll take that on one of the battleships. Okay, I'm rolling two reds and a cruiser. Two hits, two hits. So I assume the destroyer. So one destroyer, and we'll just take, I don't know, it's probably not going to matter. If it does later, we can figure it out, the Anzac Cruiser. So I'll put them over here in the discard pile next to the Afghans. All right, so that was two hits. So my battleship is reduced now to blue, to a two. So that will be, uh, my roll coming up will be a... Shit. Battleship, a battleship, a damaged battleship, and a cruiser. And they have one American cruiser left. And the American cruiser gets a hit. Huh. Don't want to damage my other battleship. 
I'm going to think, um, shoot, I'm going to take the cruiser out and leave the battleship unharmed. All right, so I'm rolling uh, a damaged battleship, a battleship, and a cruiser. So let's see here. Two hits. Okay, so I finished off this American cruiser in C-Zone 45. All right, so they will occupy C-Zone 45, a damaged battleship, and a battleship. Okay, I guess now the big battle. The American fleet up here. All right, so I've laid it out here. So I have my 10 airplanes landing on five carriers. And I'm just thinking here. Uh, so the planes come one, two, three, Uh, these planes actually have five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. They could actually land on the island as well. I don't think I want to. I'm going to think that through. So the planes coming from Japan. One, two, three. They have two left. They have two. Um, hmm and the planes coming from Java go one two three four they only have one left they only have one left so it was uh, it was three planes from Japan have two and the three planes from Java have one and the planes from Manchuria go one. Here's my ten dice. Go one to Okinawa. Two to eighteen. Three to Marianas. Four. So they have four. I'm just thinking I might be able to bring that extra fighter. Do I need it? I might. One of the planes can land on Palau. Um, I'm going to pause here for a second. Okay, I decided to increase the planes to 11. And I'll land one in probably the Carolines or just some will get shot down. I don't have to land them anywhere. So I'm going to be rolling 11 dice, actually. Um, so let me start with the allies first. These subs are going to participate because I don't have a destroyer. Um, so they get three whites because they have an Anzac. They have two Anzac transports which count as one hit, one roll. They have super transports. They have two of those. Uh, there are three destroyers. Three destroyers. There are two carriers. There are two fighters. So, I'm hoping, you know, statistically, I probably should get around three hits on this. Maybe four if we're lucky. Let's see. And three it is. Three hits. Okay. That's about right. So, I put that over there. Three hits to me. So I have to take, because um, these are supported. So I'll take the ones that have one. One, two, three go to the disaster zone. And I'm rolling 11 fours. Come on, something good here. Statistically, it should be almost seven. And it is one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Eight hits. That's about right. So they want uh, the carriers first. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is one fighter. So three to the Japanese. Eight to the Americans. So they will be rolling one fighter. Uh, the two U.S. transports and the one Anzac transport. So let's roll that for the second round. No hits on the second. No hits on the second. And this one was left over. Okay, no hits on the second round, and I'm rolling uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because I had um, three shot down, and that should do it. That's, that's the rest. I don't even need to count that. So one more fighter, and these transports are gone. And I didn't lose anything, right? No. I think I walk away with most of my airplanes. Okay, so let's. So that's a wrap on the battles. Pretty successful, but statistically, spot on. That's about how it should have been. So let's see these planes here that have one left. I'm just going to put the camera down. So those guys go there. These, I think there's enough room on the boats for everybody. So no pushing, no shoving. And I'm going to clean this up later. But wow, that was relatively intact. Um, okay. What happened here? I blasted out some guys over here tank and this guy goes here all right that was pretty good on the rolls now let me pause here some stuff got messed up on the rolling and i'll do my free moves and i replace everybody i'll figure out where i want these planes to go now okay so this plane this fighter with four left that came out of india that was, that was one Two, three, four to Yunnan. That guy will fly to Yunnan. These two fighters will land in India. This bomber will land in India. These, this, uh, whatever this is, these will rail one, two to. Eastern Iran, a mech and a cannon will go to Eastern Iran. This carrier will build in 30... Oh, you know what? Let me think about this carrier. Oh. One second. I think I messed up. Um, these planes come... One. From Java, one two, three, yeah, sorry, these planes have to land on this carrier. So it's actually a um, mini carrier. <laughs> they don't even fit on there. Right, those guys had to land there. And um, these tanks will go one, two, To Yunnan. This guy in here will come in. These two, these three cannons will go to Tanguska. This guy will, will return back to Kyonsu. That guy will go to Singhai. Um, hmm, let's see here. Let me rethink this. I can move three guys out of India. Okay, instead of these guys railing out, 
I'm going to rail these three tanks to Szechuan instead from India. And those guys will just move to West India under their own power. And these cannon will move. Can these cannon move into the neutral zone? Or is it just infantry? Let me read that. All right, it says on the board they can't, only infantry. All right, so those three artillery go there. And, uh, this down here, this transport from Malaya will go one to Borneo, pick up this artillery. One, two, three, to, and join the Palau fleet. The French Indochina transport 36 will go to Palau. I thought I had three transports. Yeah, I do. One's already there. Um, this cannon in Malaya will rail to Sean, one, to French Indochina, two, to Kuang Si for three. The infantry in French Indochina will rail to Hong Kong. Sorry about the camera work this time, pretty poor. And these three infantry in Shanghai. I wanted to rail them to Manchuria. Noodle on that for one second. Um, all right, so we got that. We got that. So Shanghai. Okay, I think I got it now. Um, so I'll go through what's where. We have a mech and a cannon artillery in West India. One bomber in India. Actually, it's a transport, technically, this turn. No, no, it was a transport last turn. So it's a bomber this turn. Um, a, a carrier, a baby carrier, with a fighter and a uh, tactical bomber in that mess, along with the British at the moment, C-Zone 39. Sumatra, nothing. Java... Port and a tank. Malaysia, just the factory. French Indochina built the tank and the mech. Yunnan, the fighter from India. Szechuan, the three tanks from India. Singhai, this guy's having a beer. One infantry. One mech and Kanzu from the Urals. Three artillery in Tunguska that came from Novorsibirsk. That's how it's pronounced. Uh, this guy came down from Siberia to Amur, one infantry. Still have six infantry, one artillery in Manchuria, one destroyer in C Zone 19, two tanks built and three legacy infantry in Shanghai. One artillery from French, from Malaysia in Kuang Si. One infantry from French Indochina in Hong Kong. One destroyer built in C Zone 36. Three infantry in the BBR naval base in Celebes. A damaged 
battleship and a regular battleship undamaged in 45. A whole mess of stuff here in 34. Palau. Five carriers. One, two, three, four, five, six fighters, two fighter bombers, a destroyer, three transports, two infantry, two artillery. And I think that's going to be a wrap. Oh, and then I have a uh, Japan built three fighters. And then I have um, two, four, six, eight, nine infantry. An artillery, three anti-aircraft. All right, America, let's see your counter. Do your best. You know, it's impossible to fend off China as uh, so many entryways. There's probably more entryways as a victory point or something to control in China than any other. Literally impossible to hold it. And here were the losses, pretty good for the Japanese. They lost three planes, a cruiser. And there's everything the Allies lost this turn. Pretty hefty, but statistically pretty accurate. The dice were pretty spot on. So we'll see what happens in the rest of the world. Moscow's fallen, the Russians have just a few troops left. And uh, all right, till turn eight, that's a wrap.